goal in Madden 21 is to deliver complete control to our players on both sides of the ball. As the rising generation of stars change the game every single week, we're changing with them, and this all starts at the line of scrimmage. The pass rush can control a modern NFL game, and we're introducing all new defensive line mechanics to make playing as a pass rusher both more responsive and more fun to play, and it all starts with control. All pass rush moves are now on the right stick and triggers, which allows you to perform the exact move you want every time. The on-field trainer will bring more player feedback to the battle as well. You'll see how many moves or attempts you have on any given play and will get a clear feedback if the move was successful or not. The new pass rush system in Madden 21 means playing D-line isn't just for the newcomers anymore. It introduces a whole new strategy at the line of scrimmage built for all Madden players. Control on the offensive side of the ball is also getting an overhaul in Madden 21 with the skill stick ball carrier system. Like the superstars of this generation, we wanted to bring a new level of creativity and control to the field for our players to take advantage of. The right stick acts as your main control point between you, the defender, and the open field, and all the moves can be linked together to create exciting skill moves at any moment. There are two new moves that the skill stick has unlocked, the side hurdle, or jurtle, and the dead leg. These are more representative of the moves we're seeing from today's top ball carriers, and they can be linked together with the traditional jukes and spins to create endless combinations. Specific animations will only be available to certain archetypes to ensure that only the best ball carriers in the league are breaking ankles on the way to the end zone. To slow down the run this year, new breakdown tackling controls will help bring the elite ball carriers to a halt, balancing out the run game on defense. There's two major changes to see here. The first being a much more authentic representation of how the defenders get into position to make the play. You'll see defenders both user and AI controlled break down like they would in the real world and prepare for contact. This eliminates the guided missile feeling to some tackling as well as the more jarring tackle moments we may have seen previously. Well-timed breakdown tackles will give defenders better control and a much higher chance of successfully tackling the oncoming player, giving up less broken tackles. Like any play, timing is key, and a mismatched tackle can still let the runner slip by. Outside of all the new control players we'll have in Madden 21, some of the biggest updates we'll see is in the overall authenticity and presentation of each game, eliminating immersion breakers, making gameplay more authentic and realistic. You'll see players keeping their momentum as they run out of bounds, reaching for extra effort first downs, and diving for end zone pylons, making those key moments even more authentic. This also extends to the quarterback position, as all new physics-based animations will create more authentic moments when throwing under pressure and when being hit. These are contextual moments where the positioning of the defender, the QB's arm angle, and the target of the pass will all contribute to the outcome of the throw. In the moments after the play is stopped, we've overhauled the player avoidance system, making all players on the field more aware of each other and their surroundings, giving a much needed facelift to the actions between the downs. At the same time, when the play is stopped, who doesn't love a good celebration to rub a great play into your opponent's face? We've opened up plenty of new opportunities for user-controlled celebration and reactions throughout every game, giving you total control over how your players react after more game-changing plays. Welcome to Madden 21. Get ready to go all out starting on August 28th.